very good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, whatever place it is you're tuned on to the Life Signatures Radio. It's my pleasure to welcome you aboard and to thank you for doing the same. If this is the first time that you're doing this, please know that this is a daily show being focused on the subjects of purpose and productivity and resilience and anything in between those. In fact, today you found us in the middle of a long series. We're talking about raising spirit led children and like a like a, what do they call it like a broken record i've been talking and saying that it is not a religious series we're not doing religion here we're not doing a this post is not religion religious per se but it touches on religion it is a human topic because every human being is spirit now the problem is that i have seen for the most part we are so much inclined to be faithful to the empirical to the material world than we are to the spiritual world and at the end of the day when the curtain comes to a close on our lives we have missed quite a bit of our destinies we need to embrace matter spirit from the get-go and that's why we are discussing this episode today we're going to go deeper and show you something technical about how you and i might be failing to raise a spirit-led children stadium. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. So even as we've been discussing these things, I know there are very many aspects of uh, raising and parenting and mentoring and coaching that I've been discussing in the previous episodes that have just gone by, and I'm going to continue to do the same. We, in the previous episodes, in the immediate previous episodes, we talked about the two traditional ways, uh, traditional ways of raising children, and well, the first thing we say that we have known all this time that there is one way or two ways of raising children. Number one. We beat the crap out of them, beat the foolishness out of them. In fact, we even put scripture in there and we said the foolishness is locked up in the heart of a child, but a road of correction will drive it away. And we go full blast. We beat them left, right and center. Today, I have seen a very extremely powerful quote on Facebook by this man called Tony Gobanga. Tony Gobanga is a coach. I think it's a marriage coach and, and something of that nature. He says... I don't know if it's original with him or he got it from from somebody else. He said that we should learn to discipline our children's rebellion and not their mistakes. Now, the problem with beating people up is that you can beat them even when they're making a mistake, a genuine mistake. You don't expect a child to be an angel. So you can't just be beating them left, right, and center. Discipline them for their rebellion, but not for their mistakes. Mistakes are the way we learn anyway. So the first step is, we. the first way we've been raising children is beating the hell out of them. Left, right, and center. And some parents have been in the, in the generation, the, boom, the, the boomers, right? The, the baby boomers. Those are our parents. They reveled in the in beating us up at any turn, at every turn. Okay, and I, I've I've been calculating in my head. Sometimes I, I was thinking, probably a parent who had more than three children or more more than two children could have maybe a, a little bit more on their hands to juggle, and therefore they get exasperated easily. Anyway, the second way in which we think we are raising children is to pump intelligence into them 
yeah as in we expose them not really expose them we demand in fact it's even morphed with the first one we demand for them to know some things thereby we are bequeathing them the 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 inheritance of being true and being faithful to the material world more than to the spiritual world and you know the spiritual world is not something you pump into someone the spiritual world is something that is drawn out of them it is drawn the spiritual nature is drawn out it's, it has to be exposed intentionally in fact you've got to teach me to learn how to draw me out because you cannot draw me out it's my responsibility to spiritually draw me out so the following are the ways that we've been doing this wrongly uh, when we're talking about um, raising children or parenting the, the the two things i've discussed i've, I've talked about i've just um, summarized above they are critical in raising up a child but they will never be the central theme disciplining is okay right like we said you discipline their rebellion but not their mistakes it is fine it is okay to discipline it is also okay to pump intelligence into them but that should not be the central that should not be the 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 core pillar of parenting or of raising spirit spirit led children the central theme is to understand what a child that a child is a treasure they are a treasure we are all treasures by ourselves and we only need to make sure that the in raising spirit led children we are helping them to see that they indeed are treasure and their biggest job their biggest occupation should never say that they're jobless but their biggest occupation is to cultivate themselves self cultivation talked about this previously and they are seeking they are seeking not something that is outside of them but first of all they are seeking something that is within them our biggest problem on the face of the earth is to seek that which is outside of us that which is not within we go to we get green cards we buy ourselves toys we i mean we seek for pleasure and all that things that are with outside they are without our spirit and we totally ignore things that are inside the spirit in other words all instruction all teaching all correcting and all disciplining of a child that does not cherish that the child is a treasure at the core is steeped to fail to begin with it's dead on arrival dod doa now if you are doing one of these things i'm going to talk about four five things that you might be doing wrongly if you're not raising a spirit led child the first thing if you're looking at the two ways of parenting we talked about the first thing that we normally do a lot and i saw this a lot happening as i was growing up it is cramming 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 now when i was growing up there was listen to this there was no internet in fact i know in developed worlds where there was no internet there were libraries in villages for us there was not even a library there was no internet uh, textbooks were very very extremely scarce o- only the only people who had information were teachers and therefore they will come and they put the information on the board we will put the information in our books and then we will cram the information in so doing <laughs> we are living outside in knowledge is important it's good to know it's good to, to learn it's good to understand but you realize that this is outside in like you're teaching me mathematics and biology and chemistry and physics and uh, christian uh, religious education towards what end why are you doing that am i supposed to know that is that the way my spirit is structured there's nothing wrong with all all all, all that stuff but the point is what is what is the driving force behind the the cramming i know this is this this can be controversial But what is the use of having an entire class of children to cram the periodic table in their heads to replicate it in an examination? We cram and then we replicate. And then the second day after we've done our examinations, you ask us something about the periodic table. We have forgotten. Why? Because it already served its usefulness. What was its use its usefulness? Its usefulness was to be regurgitated on paper in an examination. 
and in so doing we've done some mental gymnastic the spirit has not been catered for and that's just about it it's wrong of what use is that cramming exercise to all the children in the country is 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 it in any way helping to nurture matters related to the spirit of the child it doesn't now let's not throw out the baby with the bathwater of course because cramming can be an important thing an important tool for mastery but only after we know that it is critical it is crucial in the self extraction process we talked about in the self extraction process of the treasure that is within the spirit of a child if cramming can help then use it by all means but if you put cramming above self extraction what has happened we have failed to raise a spirit led child if cramming is the primary way through which your child is supposedly learning chances could be that you're not raising a spirit led child the idea of regurgitating and replicating i know there are some professors who when they give an examination they want you to say and to write the exact the exact way that the answer or the question was that was phrased the exact way it was provided for in the textbook that he, he gave you to go and read there is a place for that there's a place for you to be disciplined and, and and all that stuff mentally disciplined and all that stuff but you see when we are true to whatever has already been done when we are true to whatever has already been written and at the same time we forget whatever is inside of us we're not raising spirit led children we need to find a way of exploring and understanding and letting people to uh, go on an adventure to find out who they are and we may we need to be much more true to self extraction and self excavation than we are to one way cramming let's balance the thing if people have got to cram some things from the outside let them but as faithful as we are to this cramming business we should even be much more faithful to self extraction than to this cramming right so that's the first way and tomorrow we're going to look at another thing that we normally do in raising people in raising in parenting in educating and so on that could be detrimental to raising a spirit led child it could be tomorrow we we'll continue with that stay tuned thank you for listening to life signatures radio if you enjoyed today's show subscribe to life signatures radio on itunes stitcher or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com life signatures radio fresh clean and inspiring